presented to top key political seats in this year's general election. Of the three women who have made history as the first elected governors, two seats went to Jubilee in outgoing Deputy National Assembly Speaker Joyce Laboso, who won the Bomet governorship, and her Kirinyaga counterpart Anne Waigoro. Former Cabinet Minister Charity Ngilu won the Kitui governorship on her NARC party and other National Super Alliance Coalition. Dr. Laboso garnered a 67% lead, at least 67% lead against Isaac Kruto, who was defending his seat on a CCM ticket. And that indeed was a huge defeat. And we celebrate her victory. She's with us in studio tonight. Our guest in studio tonight, Dr. Joyce Laboso. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Lillian. Thank you for... And I remember our last conversation <laughs> and you were sure, you were certain that this victory would be yours. But let's get into the hectic campaign season, um, you know, following up to, the, of course, the counting um, of the ballots. As a woman, what was the most challenging thing about being on that campaign trip? <sighs> okay, I mean... Um, the good thing for me, of course, is that I have been a member of parliament. So I've done this campaign thing now, you know, for two, two, two terms. Okay, but of course the scale was higher, you know, it's like one constituency times five. Um, so the one thing, of course, initially was um, all the propaganda and the name calling and, you know, did it trying to reduce my, my, my candidature to the fact that I, I am a woman and, you know, all manner of things would be said until sometimes, you know, uh, you just wonder, you know, there are many times when I would tell them, some of you look like, were you born by women, the way you are talking, it's like, you, you, you know, you just sort of imagined or came out of... What is the uh, most extreme thing that was said to you? <laughs> and um, the fact that, of course, you are taking on the incumbent who, of course, is a man, um, who has a following, but what was the most extreme thing that was said to you on the campaign trail? A lot was said. At one point, some people decided that um, they wanted to embarrass, embarrass me by, um, um, I think, getting, going to some slaughterhouse and looking for, for some blood when some people were asked to come and ra run around me and somebody would, put, um, would splash some of the blood on me so that you know, something normal like having periods now was supposed to be now, how can you have a leader who, you know, at some point in the inner, um, you know, has to go through uh, a menstrual period. Now, mm -hmm. I thought that is crazy. But um, because I had people who also knew what was going on, uh, they kept, um, they're the ones who said, first of all, don't get out of the car until we reach the, the, this and this point. And, um, uh, and of course, and then I said it, you know, in the, in the, in the meeting. I said, now, those ones who wanted to come and pour blood on me, were you not, are you not, were you not born of women? And do you know that that is a normal, a natural process of, of, of a woman? And how many of them have you seen, you know, how many women have you seen, you know, um, you know showing that, um, um, that kind of thing, or even the, the fact that I have been uh, a member of parliament all this while. Mm -hmm. So, that issue really of um, how, low, how low some people can think, you know, can, can really make you think now, um, please don't, don't, uh, I'm not coming here to sell my womanness because that one is natural. It's not, it's not anything uh, strange or anything, anything funny. What I'm trying to we are, get, leave us, remove us from these low and, you know, uh, dirty things that have nothing to do with what I am selling. I'm selling policies. I'm talking about what I can do for the people of Bome. Right. I want you to talk about, let's discuss at that level of what am I offering mm -hmm. as a leader. Talking about perception um, and your victory, uh, perhaps which came, might have come as a surprise even to your main challenger, Isaac Ruto, there are people who hold the view that uh, perhaps this is more a Jubilee win than a Joyce Laboso win and that perhaps the endorsement of the deputy president is what catapulted you uh, to these heights. Um, well, they can um, I know that my being in Jubilee played a big role, but it's not the only role. We were three other candidates before I became the, the nominee of Jubilee. We had Dr. Kwanes there, and we had also the former uh, deputy governor, um, Mutai. So if it was not about me, then, you know, any of those other people would have also, they, could, they had an, an equal chance of, of, uh, of winning at the nominations. When I had then, you know, emerged the winner by a very b wide margin, so it, it's not like, you know, I, the kind of win that I get is that just, you know, only just scraping through. No. 
for the nominations and even for this final. You know, it's a very decisive win. Yes, after nominations, the fact that I was in the right party and the fact that, uh, you know, Isaac finally decided to move completely now into NASA, yes, it played a role. But I also know that um, my own contribution, the, my manifesto, what I was selling to the people, what I was promising uh, that I would do as, as a leader. And when they looked at my past, my past as a member of parliament for Sotik and what I had been able to do. A lot of that was coming out of my own performance as a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. And talking about um, your competitor, <coughs> Isaac Ruto, he's been pretty quiet. Um, let's talk about the Isaac Kruto factor before we get into Bomet and your governorship. Um, the fact that, um, for instance, um, he has, his party has a number of MCAs that are now coming in. Um, and of course, the fact that um, he, as the incumbent, also had a following. For you, do you plan to um, extend an olive branch to him? Do you perhaps um, intend to inherit some of his staff under the devolved government? What is your plan? What is your transition plan, bearing in mind that um, the incumbent, of course, now also has a significant number of MCAs that have been elected? Um, well, I don't know if you can call uh, three MCAs out of uh, 25 uh, significant, but okay. Okay, not to be ignored, um, but already all of them have indicated that they want to work. They want to work with us. They want to work with the, 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 their Jubilee counterparts. Um, extending an olive branch, I think I've said it from day one, that um, um, Isaac is, is a leader, is uh, the incumbent, um, or has been the incumbent as a, a governor. Um, and I'm willing and ready to, to, to meet with him and to, and to you know, um, uh, chat the way forward. Because really, it is about Bomet. Bomet, the people of Bomet um, made a, deci a decision uh -huh. and a very, a very clear decision. That has they, he spoken to you? At well, all? he has actually. He has. He, we, 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 we have spoken and um, uh, plan to, 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 to meet, you know, and uh, just uh, exchange notes. And, um, uh, because really, it's, it's not about us. It's not about me. It is the decision of the people of Bomet. Um, and they've said clearly, I'm, I'm sure you had the, 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 the rallying call that has become, you know, now everybody knows this word, Kiwale, Kiwale, because it became the rallying call to say we want change. Mm -hmm. It's about change. We do not want things to continue in the manner in which they, they, they were continuing. And talking about change, Dr. Laboso, um, an excerpt here um, from Dr. Joyce Laboso, her pledge to the people of Bomet, um, who I'm certain are watching. Let's listen in. Na 20 billion. Patia Joyce Pia. Five years, na 20 billion. Alafu kesho, kesho museme, ni nani amefanya kazi. Okay, so that was you um, on the campaign trail. What three issues will you devote your energies to as governor of Bomet? One, water. I went on that campaign trail and everywhere women were talking about, please, we need water. We cannot continue. You know, we have, ha have hardly got any bucks anymore because we thought that there was going to be a change when devolution happened and we thought that we were going to be able to see at least the distance that we cover looking for water. So um, uh, my predecessor did very, very little, if any, around on, 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 the, on the question of water. So I'm going to devote a lot of time mm -hmm. to water. I am going to devote a lot of time to health and particularly maternal and child health. Um, make sure that there are medicines in the, school, in, in the hospitals. Make sure that we in, improve the in, infrastructure, improve the equipment that we have in our hospitals. I'm going to spend a lot of uh, energy in the, ed in the education sector, particularly early childhood education. Again, very little was done by my predecessor. In fact, I can hardly count if any uh, nursery schools that were completed in five years. And that's why I keep talking about the 20 billion or about 20 billion that has come into the county of Bomet and whether they can see evidence of that uh, you know, injection of 20 billion mm -hmm. into, into Bomet County. So uh, roads, we have a lot of issues with uh, infrastructure. 
and of course agriculture. The biggest problem I, I said actually, um, uh, what I notice is the level of poverty of the people, and and yet it is uh, potentially you know agriculturally um, rich uh, county. Mm -hmm. So. We want to really use agriculture, the tea industry, the dairy industry, the, you know, even poultry and, you know, agribusiness. See how we can uplift the standard of the people of, uh, of Bomet. So energy will go into agriculture, energy will go into water, energy will go into education, and of course, uh, infrastructure and hospitals. Mm -hmm. And of course, this will um, require a strong team um, behind you. And we know that a lot of um, governors have had a very fractured relationship with their MCAs, like I previously um, put to you. How do you intend to transition um, within Bomet, knowing that this has been um, the environment across? the 47 counties really where you see MCAs actually um, usurping their roles, um, the roles of their governors as well and pretty much um, making um, the county assembly a mockery. I have actually already started, you know, um, uh, trying to get a structured way of how we are going to engage, not just with the MCAs, even with the members of parliament mm -hmm. and even with the, you know, the senator and the, and the, and the women rep. So, I would like us, if you remember what uh, the Sang had, the, the Sang bill that was intended to bring all the leadership of, of every county, every so often meeting and, you know, uh, and sort of sharing what it is that they are doing in the various places. So I have already and I've really indicated to my MCAs, we are going to work together. I am going to facilitate their actual, you know, having responsibilities. Of course, they are not in the executive, but I will involve them in, for, for example, within their wards, make sure that all of them are, are, are part and parcel of deciding, for example, the bursary schemes. They will also participate in making sure that they, we identify the beneficiaries of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of bursaries within the, their, their wards and also make sure that they are also participating in the identification of projects. Uh, you know, and programs within within their their um, um, within their wards, and even when it comes to you know going to open or when 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 these projects are, are completed, they also take part of the glory. So that it's not just about me. It's not about me, you know, being out here and and looking like I'm um, you know this this uh, larger than life image. You know, I think if we can really structure a way of relating and make sure that they are part and parcel of, of the activities that are going on. They are not executing, I'll be doing the execution, but they will be part of the process of arriving at uh, what are some of the, the, the programs and even, you know, that we'll be doing in the, in the awards. And away from Bomet, speaking about you as governor, not only you, but the three, the two other, your two other counterparts, as well as the three um, elected senators, when we look at um, the National Assembly and particularly um, the 12th Parliament, we see an increase in the number of women um, that are coming in, but still are yet to meet the constitutional threshold um, of uh, the two-third gender rule. Is your coming into um, this particular playing field now going to make a difference? Why have we not seen the petition in, um, of, for instance, um, this, this um, National Assembly so that at the end of the day we see this rule actually come to see light of day? First of all, I'm really excited about what has happened in this, uh, you know. It is really historic because even the last election we didn't have a, a single governor, a single uh, senator elected by the people. And, you know, in this election alone, Jubilee, we have been able to get two governors and three, three uh, senators, women, elected. This is a milestone. And, and really goes to say that, you know, uh, although we have been, you know, over the years complaining about our very poor performance in terms of women in, in, uh, in the political leadership, um, there are, we've made a, a good leap this, uh, this year. It's not enough to get us the uh, one third um, in parliament. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, we only need one more woman in uh, the National Assembly, I mean the Senate. To, to, to meet the threshold in Senate. Mm -hmm. But we need uh, another 35 or 38 um, women in the National Assembly if we are to meet the one-third rule. So um, I'm almost persuaded that um, we may, in the end, have to just go for that progressive. If we are not able to get anything else, mm -hmm. you know, agree that we might have to, you know, progressively arrive at the one-third. 
There is no plan from any of you to petition the Chief Justice to advise the President right to dissolve Parliament. Right now, I am told there is a team that is, and I support them. I said this is probably the best time to do it. You know, before you know Parliament would really say it is not properly constituted. I don't know how far that 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 petition will go. I wish them all the best because I'm very sure that once my parliamentarians are are sworn in and 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 Parliament begins, I can almost guarantee you we will not go very far with the, with the one third. Unfortunately, I mean, I, we've tried our best, even in the last parliament, really to uh, convince our, our male colleagues. But um, uh, it's, it becomes uh, increasingly difficult. And especially now that they, we've been able to get the number that we've been able to get uh, in the governors and the senators, it will even become more difficult. They say, if you've struggled and you've been able to get, why not just let the other women also do the same? And I'm, I'm sure with, in, in, you know, with time, uh -huh. we'll meet the threshold that we're looking for. Dr. Laboso, if you were to speak to President Uhuru Kenyatta today in light of the current environment that we're living in um, coming, of course, after um, um, the just concluded election, um, we see um, your competitors, NASA, now going um, the petition way. Um, if you were to speak to the President today, what would you advise him as regards healing the nation, as regards bringing a mood of camaraderie and unity within this nation? Currently, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of tension. What would, you, what would be your words to him? Um, first of all, Lillian, I want to really say um, I, I thank our President. I know um, that the NASA team uh, somehow feel uh, short changed in some way but I haven't quite seen the evidence of how um, um, of how they were short changed because from all indications whether it is looking at the polls um, and looking at how transparently I would say uh, the, the, you know the process was carried out you know we were all watching as the, all the, 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 the polls um, well, I mean the, the, the votes were coming in so if there is an, an, an election that you could probably call credible, transparent, you know, it is this one. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, because, you know, NASA do have their constitutional and democratic right to, 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 to go to court. And I'm very happy that eventually they decided the court way rather than, the, you know, the street, um, you know, uh, demonstrations. Because we, are, we, are, we really cannot afford, you know, any Kenyan to lose their lives over, over, over politicians' ambitions. And, you know, and it, it, it is not, it's not right. So it's good that they've gone to court. Let's hear the evidence that they have. I would now say to our president, because I, I know that we have a president that is, um, um, he, because I have interacted with, I've seen the way he, he behaves. I know he feels pain by having to see Kenyans, you know, lose their lives over, or, over elections. Um, this is the time, because for him now, you know, he has gotten a second term, and, um, you know, and I know he's, it, it is also in his, you heard him in his speech, his, in the acceptance speech, he has started talking about, you know, and, and I've been doing before, but he's now focusing on uniting Kenyans and reaching out to, to, to the NASA team. He's the president for all of us, not just um, um, the, the, the Jubilee side of things. So I'm sure that our president, and I would like to also encourage him that this second term, you know, really spend a lot of more time on bringing uh, Kenyans together. We don't need this divide you know it's because our elections are so highly competitive uh -huh. you know where you almost feel like it is you're almost like split down the middle and in fact i would really say this time round you don't really have to ask how is it that we, we you know jubilee got 54 four, 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 four percent it is clear because we look at the number of mps we have got from kisi look uh -huh. at the number of vo votes we got from otherwise strongholds of, of our opposition, Western Kenya, and even if you look at the number of, of members of parliament in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the August House, even if NASA, if we were to somehow say NASA has won, but who would they be working with? Mm -hmm. The majority in parliament, the majority in the, in, the, in the Senate are all, and that's an indication. If you have a majority in parliament, you have a majority, it's almost you know, impossible to imagine how you can have those majorities and also still you know, come in and, and say you have won the presidency. But you know, because we don't know what, they are, um, you know, what, the, what, what evidence they may be having, you right. know, let, let's, let's wait and see. But I would really like to say, let's get on, let's move on. Mm. Maybe NASA really needs to uh, accept that. 
maybe it is true that yes, we have got these very, very competitive elections, but Jubilee just happens to have more more voters, you know, voting for, 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 for Uhuru Kenyatta. And a lot of congratulatory messages coming to you, um, Dr. Loboso. <coughs> Congratulations, Dr. Joyce, my able lecturer. Um, this is Dr. Hilary Bachok. Um, he says that Bumet will be a good place under your leadership. Dear Dr. Labos, I congratulate your win. My name is Amina and I'm from Narok. Madam Governor, we hope your government will be all-inclusive, even nurse anesthetist for Bumet Hospital. On the same note, will you create a bursary kitty for Bumet University students like most of the counties across the country? So a lot of messages coming in, but really a lot um, of, I believe, the people who voted for you um, and people from, from across the country congratulating you. Um, so your sleeves are rolled now. Your passing <laughs> remarks as we close. And congratulations, by the way. Um, I remember you told me that <laughs> when, we, when we last spoke, and I yes. wasn't too sure, <laughs> but uh, clearly you knew what you were saying. So your passing <laughs> remarks to the people of Bomet as we close. I think really is to, to say a very big thank you. Very big thank you. I want to come. I would like all of them I will, you know, to come on Tuesday because my, uh, I, uh, my inauguration is on, on Tuesday. I want to ask all of them to come in large numbers. Let's come and make that day a big celebration for all of us. Then we close now the celebrations mm -hmm. and now get down to business. I am pledging to them that, you know, their vote uh, will not go, you know, um, without results. That every vote that they gave me um, in that 176 or uh, whatever votes that I, I got, I want to really tell them. Um, I will show them that I can actually, this job that they have given me, I'll do it and do it to the best of my ability. And I know that I will change Bomet. And five years is not a long time. It's not a long time. Yeah. Because, and I also told them that, and I, I said as much, if I don't perform, show me the door. Also, you're planning it's to go this again. You're planning to go 2022. Yes, yes. God willing. You can continue about with the work you, you'll have started. I will have started. So, mm -hmm. I, and I know I will start, and I know that we will achieve when together. And I know that I'm, my plan is to make sure that everybody is included. Everybody means all professionals, please. The door is open. Come and let's build Bomet together. All those people and the people of Bomet, um, uh, you know, we, were, we are going to work very, very closely with the national government. Uh, we are going to work very closely with your professionals. We are going to work very closely with the grassroots, with everybody um, in, in the grassroots. So give us time uh, to perform and um, that you can judge from, 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 uh, from what we will do, um, how much we'll have achieved. And we'll periodically, you know, be letting them know where we are and where we are going. Many thanks. We've been talking to the incoming governor, governor-elect for Met County, Dr. Joyce Laboso, who garnered, is it 67?